Hello students, I am Pramod Kumar from Construction Learning Solution Private Limited. Today we are going to make an earthquake alarm. Earthquake alarm means a device that will trigger an alarm whenever there is an earthquake. When the ground shakes, it will set the circuit on and it will make a sound so that you can know that there is an earthquake and you can take the preventive measurement to save yourself. So let's start this activity. Listen to every instructions very carefully and do it accordingly and I hope you will enjoy this activity. So let's start. So this is the material for making an earthquake alarm. We have this foam piece out of it we will take out the foam pieces one two three and four next thing we will remove the internal parts out of these foam pieces now we will join components to these foam pieces. First of all, take this foam piece. This one is the stand. So first we will insert buzzer over here. Next we will insert the switch on this cut. And the long hook we will insert here so that the ring part should be on the front side and on the back side this will be the hook part next we will join the positive terminal of buzzer with any one terminal of the switch so for that we will take one wire Fill up the wire properly and twist it a bit to make the bunch of the wire. Likewise, on other end, peel off the wire, twist it and make a bunch of the wires. Now take the positive terminal of the buzzer, wrap this wire over the terminal of the buzzer by holding one end and then fold the terminal of the buzzer in U shape that means on 180 degree so that the wire won't slip off. Next end we will insert into one terminal of the switch and then turn it back and twist a little bit so that the wire will be fixed on the terminal of the switch. So in that way we have connected one terminal of the switch with positive terminal of the buzzer. Next thing we will take the two washers and now we will take two wires of different colors that mean one red and one black or blue whatever you have. Peel off the wire from both sides. Now join one washer to each wire by inserting the wire into the hole of the washer. Now fold the wire and twist it to join with the washer like this. Likewise join other washer.
Now join these wires to the switch and hook. Red wire I am connecting to the switch where I have connected first wire. So on the other terminal of the switch I will join this wire. Here red wire is representing the positive wire here. So we have connected the positive terminal of the buzzer to the switch and one other wire to the switch. Remember these two wires will be connected to the separate terminals of the switch and they should not touch each other. Next wire, the green wire I am connecting to the hook that will serve as the negative wire. Remember the color for the negative and positive wire. Now next thing we will insert this stand to the base here like this. Now join the next wire with the hook that means the small hook we have here peel of the wire a little bit long and then twist it around this hook and join it properly after that twist on the other end of the wire and now insert this wire into the foam piece like this and now insert the other end of the hook so that hook will be fixed here and the wire will be attached like this now join the magnets to the hook like this after that insert the wire on the hole of this foam piece here in the center Now join this foam piece to the stand and join the free end of the wire to the negative terminal of the buzzer. As we have done before, wrap the wire on the terminal. and fold the terminal in U shape that means on 90, 180 degree. So this wire we have connected to negative terminal of the buzzer, positive terminal of the buzzer is connected to one terminal of the switch and other terminal of switch is connected to this wire having the washer and one wire having the washer connected to the hook. Now pass this through the ring of the big hook and the last thing is the battery. So we will join the battery with these two washers. So positive terminal of the battery mean this terminal will be connected to the red wire that is connected to the switch and the negative terminal of the battery will be connected to this washer that is connected to the this hook. So keep it like this and insert the battery here. Now 
now check if it is working now let's see how this works you have to first set the alarm in proper position it should be like this so that these hooks should be nearby to each other adjust this wire a little bit now when i now when i set this alarm this hook will touch and alarm will be on so this is how our earthquake alarm works so whenever there will be earthquake it will shake the ground and by shaking this pendulum like structure will touch to the ring and the connection will be on and the buzzer will blow so this is how our earthquake alarm works now you have made this earthquake alarm and this alarm this is the part that works like a switch and also there is an additional switch so whenever the earthquake comes this pendulum like structure will move and it will touch the hook and that sets the switch on so this is the mechanism we are using in this earthquake alarm and this is on the basis of an electronic circuit on the back as you can see here as you have already made this now let's see what are the question and answers in the worksheet question number 1 is earthquake is generated by and the answer is both a and b so earthquake can be generated by volcanic eruption and movement of tectonic plates yani volcanoes jab erupt hote hain to usse bhi earthquake generate ho sakta hai aur tectonic plate ki movements se bhi earthquake generate ho sakta hai क्वेश्चन नंबर टू द पॉइंट वेर एन अर्थक्वेक ऑरिजिनेट इज कॉल्ड यानी उस पॉइंट को जहां पर अर्थक्वेक जनरेट होता है ऑरिजिनेट होता है जहां से अर्थक्वेक स्टार्ट होता है उसको क्या कहते हैं उसको कहते हैं हाइपोसेंटर और फोकस और बेसिकली ये ग्राउंड के नीचे होता है बिल्कुल इसके ऊपर ग्राउंड पे जो पॉइंट होता है उसको हम कहते हैं एपिसेंटर यानी जहां से अर्थक्वेक हमें लगता है कि यहां से स्टार्ट हुआ है और वहां पर डेफिनेटली इंटेंसिटी सबसे ज्यादा होती है क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री व्हाट विल बी द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एन अर्थक्वेक टू कॉज अ ग्रेट डील ऑफ डैमेज सो ऑब्वियसली द आंसर इज ग्रेटर देन 9.0 ग्रेटर देन 9.0 के अर्थक्वेक पे क्या होता है कि ऑलमोस्ट जितने भी बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन वगैरह होते हैं जितनी भी इमारतें वगैरह होती हैं वो सब डैमेज हो जाती हैं और बहुत ग्रेट डील ऑफ अर्थ डैमेज जो होता है वो इस टाइप के अर्थक्वेक से हो सकता है क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर द बेस्ट टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल टू यूज फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन इन एन अर्थक्वेक प्रोन एरिया इज एंड द आंसर इज वुड बिकॉज वुड इज लाइट वेट एंड ये जल्दी से जो होता है डैमेज नहीं होता है और सस्टेन कर सकता है और दूसरी बात अगर बाई चांस कोई बिल्डिंग जो वुड की बनी हुई है कोलेप्स भी होती है तो ज्यादा डैमेज नहीं होगा तो इसलिए आपने देखा होगा या सुना होगा कि जैसे जापान जैसी कंट्रीज में जहां पर फ्रीक्वेंटली अर्थक्वेक आते रहते हैं वहां पर वुडन वर्क ज्यादा होता है हाउसेस में यानी लकड़ी के बने हुए घर ज्यादा मिलेंगे आपको क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट द टू हुक्स वर्क्स एज सो इस प्रोजेक्ट में ये जो दो हुक हैं, एक हुक जिस पे हमने मैग्नेट सस्पेंड किए हैं एंड दूसरा हुक जो ये है ये दोनों वर्क करते हैं किस चीज की तरह जैसे मैंने पहले बताया था दे वर्क लाइक अ स्विच सो द आंसर इज ए क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स विच वेव कॉजेज मोर डिस्ट्रक्शन ड्यूरिंग अर्थक्वेक ऑप्शन आर पी वेव एस वेव और बॉडी वेव सो बेसिकली पी वेव स्टैंड फॉर द प्राइमरी वेव यानी जो पहले वेव आती है और एस वेव स्टैंड फॉर द सेकेंडरी वेव जो उसके बाद वेव आती है वेव मतलब जो हमारे वाइब्रेशन हैं जो एनर्जी वेव्स हैं तो उनमें से जो एस वेव यानी सेकेंडरी वेव होती है वो ज्यादा डिस्ट्रक्टिव होती है क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन अर्थक्वेक और सिस्मोग्राफ इज अ टर्म यूज टू डिस्क्राइब ग्राउंड सेकिंग एंड रेडिएटिंग सिस्मिक एनर्जी तो बेसिकली जो सिस्मोग्राफ होता है वो तो मेजर करने के लिए यूज होता है तो जो रेडिएटिंग सेस्मिक एनर्जी है उसको हम क्या कहते हैं अर्थक्वेक यानी अर्थक्वेक एक जनरल टर्म है जहां पर सेस्मिक एनर्जी जो है वो ट्रेवल कर रही है 
along the surface of the earth. Question number eight, wave of energy that travels through earth's layer are called, yani jo wave travel kar rahi hai, usko hum kya kehte hain? Seismic waves. Question number nine, the intensity of earthquake is measured on, yani earthquake ki intensity ko measure karne ke liye hum kya use karte hain? Hum use karte hain Richter scale. Yani us scale ko scientist ke name pe Richter scale kehte hain. Question number ten, earthquake can be caused by tidal or volcanic or magmatic activities. So basically volcanic activities se hi ya jo magmatic yani jo magma humari earth ke andar hota hai uski movement se hi earthquake generate hote hain. Tidal activities jo hoti hain, tidal matlab jo tidal waves wagera hoti hain, tides wagera hoti hain, unse earthquake generate nahi hota hai. Reversely earthquake se tidal activities generate ho sakti hai jaise aapne tsunami wagera suna hoga. So these are the question and answers for your activity. Keep experimenting, enjoy all the experiments, happy learning, thank you.